My name is Mitchell Margaris. Uh, I got my AA here, graduated in 2015 actually, played baseball here and that's what drew me here as I'm originally from Kelso. I was able to work at my local high school for a little while before seeing that this program was started and when it got started I applied because this is somewhere that I love to be and Grace Harbor is a home to me and when I got accepted it was it was a great time in my life and I've been very excited throughout the first quarter of how it's gone. Uh, our professors have been great. It's been awesome to have Dr. Cavan uh, through multiple different quarters and just being able to have a cohort that we've been able to grow so close with and make a lot of friendships that are going to last a lifetime and get a lot of material and a lot of resources from it and it's just exciting to be in, in something that's brand new and something that's being great so far and I think we're going to produce a lot of great teachers for the area and I'm really excited to see what my future brings and what everybody else's future brings and I'm just uh, really appreciative of your guys' support of our program and we're just I'm here's to the next two years and hoping that it ends great. And I'm a paraeducator at the Aberdeen School District and so I caught wind of it through my teachers at Robert Gray Elementary and decided that I would hold off looking into online programs because I'm not an online learner and take the best opportunity and path that would give me the best education and so then I came here. My first unexpected thing in the quarter was the, the amount of time I have to talk in front of adults. <laughs> Talking in front of students is easy for me, but getting up in front of adults was an interesting learning curve. So, But I think I'm getting better at talking in front of everybody, and I think my class is really good at encouraging us to embrace it, and that there is no reason that I would fail, and everybody succeeds, and helps me be able to talk in front of students and peers and everybody easier and more confidently. The biggest advantage is working off of your peers, working off of people who going into the same field, you can bounce ideas, what works for you, what works for me, getting the in-class in experience to take that into your own classroom and be your own teacher. My name is Brandon Templer and I am a currently a substitute for Holcomb School District about three years now. Um, I also coach college baseball up here at Grace Harbor Community College. And I've always wanted to teach. Um, it's a passion of mine. I love coaching. I love reaching uh, younger kids all the way up to the college level kids. Um, I was in the middle of trying to find a place to finish my uh, teaching certificate and this place came up uh, with a new program up here. And I thought it'd be the perfect fit since I already coach up here. Um, Aaron Dilley has done a great job. All my professors are just wonderful. Um, they're getting a great detailed lesson planning and how it actually is going to be when we're teaching. Um, so, so far, so good. Um, all of my cohort members are great. Um, we easily get along together. We work together well, uh, which is, is really a good thing for when you're going to be a teacher because you're going to be working with teachers uh, for the rest of your career. Um, all I can say is I'm ready to uh, teach. Um, this is going to be a fun time, but I'll be glad when it's over and I can uh, finally start my career. I am still a paraeducator at the Aberdeen School District doing ELL, and I'm also one of the Spanish interpreters for the district. And I heard about this program after I started going back to college to become a teacher. And the timing was perfect. I got my AA, and two months later this program opened up. So it was just like the perfect timing person because I get to hear feedback from the instructors and I think it's interesting to go through this process with other people and you learn things from your your co-students your cohort people because when I was doing my AA online I didn't even realize how many people were going to school until I went to my graduation breakfast and it was like man they, this place is full of people because <laughs> at home you're just by yourself and here you get to interact with all your student, your fellow students and your professors and it's a really interesting. And they can give you advice and, and talk to you one on one and with the computer you can't really do that. Um, the most unexpected in my first quarter was that I was going to have to give a presentation every single week. <laughs> that was not, I'm used to it now, but at first I was so scared to speak in front of everybody. That's one of the reasons why I think it's good to do this in person, you get over that a lot faster. Oh, well, it will definitely change the course of my life because I'll be going from being a paraeducator to being in charge of my own classroom. And I think it will, well, obviously the financial benefits will 
help and I'll have a better retirement outlook and all of those monetary things. But I think it's just, you know, finally doing what I wanted to do, you know, graduate college and have a career instead of just having a job where I make money to pay my bills. I think it will be exciting to have a career that I love and enjoy doing what I'm doing. And I'll be a lot, I think I'll feel a lot more positive about my life once I have that. And what makes you passionate about teaching? I love the kids. There is nothing better than hanging out with kids. Sometimes they tease me, you know, like I have an old flip phone and one of my kids is like, Mrs. B, what game do you play on that phone? I said, I don't play games on that phone. He says, well, let me see your phone. And he looked at it and he laughed. He like fell over on his chair. He's like, oh my goodness, Mrs. B, your phone is so old. <laughs> he says, you don't have a Galaxy? And I was like, no, Fernando, I don't have a Galaxy. I have a flip phone. He's like, oh, Mrs. B. And he's <laughs> so no, I think, I think that is like, if I can make a living interacting with kids all day long, I say, what could be better?